listen i knew that i had an apostolic call upon my life but i didn't know that i had the grace this grace they call the kingmaker anointing this is for politics and governance i'm not saying it because i'm, I'm i fear god I'm, I'm not into politics go and read about samuel there are graces you can literally enthrone people that's what i told you in koinonia you don't invite people and say rich people come you make them by the anointing can i tell you this please do not allow the devil cheat you tonight i know there are people who say forget about this man of god they are they are all proud people they all talk nonsense i beseech you by the message of god you are not discerning you will pay the price for nothing Only a shoe will reign forever. To his kingdom there will be no end. Hallelujah. I remember there was a year. This would be about the first time I'm making this kind of statement. There was a year. That I had an audience with a particular politician somewhere and I don't know what they told him about me we had a nice time and he sat down I'm not one who go and start prophesying I don't do that it's not I have an apostolic call my focus is the edification of the body and I looked at this man and he wanted to contest for something and honestly it is not pride but in my mind I said oh dear if this man it looked to me like Jesus at the well with the Samaritan woman. I said, oh dear. The hymn writer said, oh, what needless pain we bear. At the end of it, he was just speaking English. You know, sometimes these are wonderful politicians can be proud people. They think every man of God is looking for money and all of that. And I was looking, he never requested for prayer. He never requested for anything. He was just making noise and I looked at him. And when he finished talking, I told him, I said, I'm sorry, sir, but I want to speak to you. And he was just making a jest and sarcasm and I said, go and write it. You will win your primaries, but you will never win the election. And he was laughing because it was impossible based on what he wrote. I said, I know you have met men of God who prophesied and spoke because of monies that you gave them. But you will know that there are certain people who are remnants indeed. When this guy won the primaries, he was happy, very sarcastic statement and all of that. And when he lost the election, it was a shock. I remember I went to preach somewhere. And they said, ah, the man that was around, he wanted to see me. I said, please don't bring that person there. No, I don't hate him. I don't fight with anybody. But can I tell you, please don't generalize people. There are people God has honored. I'm saying this for a reason. There is human worship. It is wrong. There are men of God who make themselves Alpha and Omega. The Bible says to minister according to the measure of grace. If you have not been anointed to enthrone government and enthrone people and you are just making noise, the disappointment will make the people arrest you one day and lock you because the grace is not on you. But can I tell you, God's system of king, priest, prophet has not failed. There are still men that God has anointed. There are graces that can enthrone. This is not just for politicians. A man overnight you can send one word was it not Elijah who said by this time you've heard the testimonies this is there's nothing in this ministry that is stage managed I want you to pray that one prayer what dimension do you see God lifting you pray that the grace and the unction that will make it happen just help those under the anointing please pray believe me 